is okay? Mm-hmm. No bleeding anywhere? No. No bleeding from your gums? From your... No. Oh. Okay. So just so what, drive what did my CAT scan ever show? I'll tell you in one okay. second. Deep breath. So your brain scan was fine, okay? It didn't show anything concerning, okay? Uh, I have a preliminary result of your bone marrow biopsy, okay? So it does look like you have leukemia, acute leukemia, okay? Yeah. And um, uh, it's, it's, uh, and you have what's called myeloid leukemia, or AML, okay? So that's um, probably the most common type of acute leukemia, well, in your age group, okay? Okay. And, um, and it's probably more favorable to you than having acute lymphoblastic leukemia, okay, because in older patients they are tough to treat. Uh, so, um, Are you writing any of this down? Uh, I got it. I don't have, the, the pathologist is doing yeah. some genetic testing and some uh, molecular information about it, okay, and it may, yeah. um, it may help with the prognosis, okay, because there are some leukemias who have a, a, a reasonably good cure rate and some of them they are not, okay and lots of depends on genetic changes, okay? But this will not be back uh, for another few days, okay? Maybe even until next week, okay? So there's, uh, you know, we can go ahead and start treating you, okay? Because there's just no for wait for you to wait, and because the longer you wait, the more are likely to run into problems, you know, with low blood counts, uh, infections, bleeding, and so on, okay? We really need only a couple of tests to finish everything up, and we can treat you, and we can even start treating you tomorrow, okay? Um, so this type of leukemia would treat with chemotherapy, okay? okay? And we typically use two, and now nowadays we can use three drugs, okay? And it, and the drugs, the chemo takes about a week, okay? And then probably uh, you're gonna well, and it's uh, and you're probably gonna be in a hospital for about for another three or four weeks, okay? okay. So that's gonna be a long hospital stay, unfortunately. But there's just no way around it, okay? Um, um, there are risk of chemotherapy, there's a risk of dying, okay, because it's gonna, whatever counts you have, it's gonna lower them, okay, so you'll be at risk of infections, and that's the major problem, okay, bleeding, uh, 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 severe anemia, um, chemotherapy can damage your organs, liver, kidneys, heart, okay, um, but without treatment, you will certainly die within, again, days to weeks, okay, and I think you're otherwise healthy, more or less, okay? And you may have some underlying lung disease from, from history of smoking, I think, right? Uh, but, uh, but your heart is, as far as you know, working fine. Your kidneys and liver are working fine. So I think you have your mortality risk, risk of dying from chemotherapy is relatively really low, okay? okay. And you, you're, I think your risk of going into remission from this leukemia is much higher, okay? So I would not hesitate to treat you. Now, there's some clinical trials that patients can get on, okay? I don't know if we have anything for you here in Springfield. There may be something for you, uh, you know, in Chicago or St. Louis. If you want me to look, I can, but, um, uh, but we can just treat you here with standard of care, okay? Uh, if you prefer to stay in, in Springfield, okay? Um, these are, you know, depending on what the, the, the prognostic markers are, then we'll decide what to do after you get your first treatment, okay? Yeah. Some patients, you know, go for a bone marrow transplantation, some patients receive more chemotherapy, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a tough disease to treat. It's a long, long commitment to treatment, okay? But the goal would be to cure you from that, okay? There's yeah. a small chance that we can get rid of this and never, it may never come back, okay? So are you okay with going ahead with the treatment plans here? Yes. Okay. I will look to see if there's any clinical trial. I think there is a trial for 65-year-old and older patients, but there probably is not one for you right now. Okay? Now what does that mean, a clinical trial? It would be basically trying a new combination of the drugs, okay? It's usually some drugs that we would normally use, plus something else to, with the hope that it's going to be better than, than, than what we have right now for routine care, okay? Oh. Uh, there may be upside and downside of it. Upside yeah. maybe that you may be getting a new combination of drugs and may be more effective. The downside, that they may turn out to be not effective or even worse. 
and they may expose to some side effects that you really cannot foresee. Now, you know, the trials are designed by smart people, you know, who don't just pull things out of the hat. You know? <laughs> so uh, uh, the, the combination is supposed to be better, but, uh, but often is not. Okay? That's why the trial is not that. Okay? If you completely are not interested in that, then we just go ahead and treat you with standard of care. Okay? Okay. I think you need two more things, okay? And then uh, you need a heart scan, okay? And you need a lumbar patch, okay? Because with your headaches, I cannot tell you, you know, they're probably your usual normal headaches, but with your headaches, I cannot tell you 100% sure. That I, I want to make sure that there's no lymphoma in your brain because the chemotherapy works really well everywhere, uh -huh. except it doesn't go to the brain that well, okay? And if there was lymphoma cells, in, leukemia cells in your brain, you can disappear everywhere but remain in your brain and would have to give you chemotherapy inside your brain too, okay? I'm very doubtful about it, but I hate to put you through a very tough treatment and then find out, whoops, we forgot something, okay? So I, it's, we can, I can ask radiologists to do it, okay? They basically put a needle in your spinal cord and take a little bit of fluid, okay? okay. We'll give you platelet transfusion before because the platelets are low and you're at risk of bleeding, okay? After that, we can treat you, and maybe we can even treat you tomorrow or at worst Thursday, okay? We'll pull what's called a thick line, so we can give you chemotherapy through it, and the nurses can draw blood so you don't have to be stuck all the time, okay? Can, I can't do a port instead? We could, but just to arrange it, you know, in a, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, I okay. think. Okay, all right. Um, I could ask somebody, you know, we, we require, it's, it's logistically more difficult to get a port. We could get a port later, okay? Right. But I think I would just get a pick for now. Okay. If that's okay with you. Yeah, I just I was just asking because I just had a friend here that... Yeah, we could do a port, but, you know, it's just... It, yeah, it's more com com complicated to get it in such a short notice. If we treat you as an outpatient, let's say, for lung cancer, then I would, you know, just send you home, you would get a port you know, right. later this week and come to the office next week, but we just don't have this luxury. I, I don't want to wait because the longer you wait, you need a treatment. There's right. no question about it. The longer you wait, the more likely you, you are turning into problems. And uh, so I just want to get get going and treat you. So uh, uh, and I don't want to delay. Okay, I want to do only necessary things. Okay. So I would like to treat you tomorrow if can, we can, or at the worst on Thursday. Okay. Okay. So I need to get the spinal thing and what else? And the heart. Ooh, scan. Okay, there's, heart scan. Yeah, just to make sure that your heart squeezing function is well. That's not going to be through the MRI machine. No, no. They will either do an ultrasound or they will do inject a little bit of a oh, tracer and then they will take a pictures of your heart. Whichever okay. one is faster, I will ask them, okay? All right, I just that MRI, that... Uh, no, 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 that, that, no, no. You're not going to have an MRI. No, no. Bone marrow? <laughs> not a problem. And no, you're no, talking no. spinal tap as mm -hmm. well tomorrow? Well, I hope... To Okay. Okay, that's that's nothing. It should be. Easy. No, I just wanted to. Yeah. Okay. So her pet, her cat scan that she had. The brain scan was fine. The brain scan was okay, and then the cat scan they did of her lungs. Yeah, well, they, it showed some changes in lungs. Okay, uh, uh, it showed some emphysema, and there were a little bit of what's called infiltrate. They weren't sure why. Well, maybe you have pneumonia. Okay, but you're on antibiotics anyway. So, so uh, I, you know, there's nothing else to do about it. Okay. okay. Right now. And is that the only tests? We were going to ask you about the prednisone. Okay. When when they had me on that strong prednisone, mm -hmm. the first of January, would that have lowered my immunity enough to get all this going, or no? No, that's not. That, that doesn't cause leukemia. No, it's just the bad luck. The, the prednisone. There's nothing that, no known reason what causes it. Well, some certain exposures to some chemicals, you know, can cause leukemia. Prior chemotherapy for cancer, like breast cancer, can cause leukemia. Mm -hmm. Radiation can cause leukemia, but things like prednisone or things that you eat, okay, you know, you would have to be like working, you know, as a chemist with benzene or something like that, you know, or working, you know, on a, a, in a refinery, you know, and right. not using gloves when handling, you know, a, a, a petrochemicals, something like that. Like, a, you know, and you don't have any unusual exposures, right? You, no. uh, yeah, so I, I, you're, I, I, most leukemia, vast majority of leukemia, in somebody who didn't have chemotherapy, didn't get radiation exposure, it's just bad genetics and bad luck, basically, you know. Everybody is exposed to something, 